Fort Worth ISD is investigating racist comments made during a class presentation on slavery at Pasco High School. Fox Worth's Dion Anglin joins us now from Fort Worth ISD headquarters with more. Dion. Hi there. Well, the superintendent has addressed this Pascal High School incident uh, this afternoon. He has recommended the teacher involved be fired. But still, some community leaders say more needs to be done. Oh the recording is roughly three minutes long. It shows a student making a class presentation that references slavery. He uses a racial epithet, the N-word, multiple times. Some students laugh. Others can be heard saying, oh, my God. The teacher attempts to add clarity, then tells the student to continue. We're, we're trying to stay as true to the original text as possible. Okay, go ahead. When I found out about the incident, it was my recommendation to the board that they uh, uh, discontinue her employment, uh, termination. Superintendent Dr. Kent Scribner said he's disgusted by the video. He initially released a statement. There is no place for this kind of language in our society, much less in our schools. I am appalled by the conduct of the adult in the room and saddened by the message it sends to our students. That statement and the call for the teacher's termination are not enough for a group of Fort Worth ministers. We're calling for a unilateral system of training so that everyone in the district understands why you don't use the word not once, but nine times in a classroom. Dr. Scribner says the incident happened last Friday and the school began notifying parents on Monday. But it escalated when the video began circulating on Wednesday. But I thank God for the brave student who not only had the fortitude to turn his camera on, but also had the fortitude to share it with us. Dr. Scribner insists the district has policies in place that mandate ongoing training regarding race relations, and the incident will heighten awareness of behavior that will not be tolerated. And it's obvious that incidents like this highlight uh, the need for more racial equity training. Uh, uh, unfortunately, racism and, and racist language is alive and well. We have over 5,300 teachers. This is not indicative of our, uh, of our teaching uh, core. Uh, however, it needs to be dealt with uh, swiftly and, uh, and I think thoroughly and, uh, and, and uh, with regard to, to our student, uh, protecting our students' rights. The minister's group wants the Pascal High School administration to be replaced and a district-wide approach to deal with something it believes is more common than this one incident. I'll be candid with you. I couldn't get through the entire three minutes. I had to keep pausing to gather my composure to be able to say, is this real? Three minutes and 18 seconds of a presentation on slavery and nine uses of the word It's too long for us to sit back and wait for this to change. Now, at this time, it is unclear if the student involved in this will face any disciplinary action. The minister's group says that it is planning a May 5th event with invited guests, civil rights advocates from around the country, and they will address this issue and what it calls acceptable solutions.